Hi, we're here with Chef Bree, who's chef and baker for the stars. And she's gonna cook for us some tilapia today. Tell us about it, Bree. I am really excited about this one. I'm a huge fan of Mexican food. Yes. So we are gonna do some tilapia tacos with the homemade jalapeno pico de gallo, mm. put some fresh cabbage mm. on there. So we're gonna start by seasoning up this fish. Okay, so first we're gonna start by making this rub that okay. we're gonna put all over our tilapia fillets. So we're gonna start with a teaspoon of ground cumin. So it could be a little bit over, it doesn't really matter. Just roughly a teaspoon. We're going to do the same with chili powder. So a teaspoon of chili powder. Because uh -huh. we like it spicy. Yes. <laughs> And these are all very common spices if you were to make your own like taco seasoning blend. So you could use it on ground beef, you could use it on chicken, you can use it, not just fish. So just a little tip there. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Now why coriander again? So coriander kind of has some lemony notes, I guess you can mm. say. It's really good in me Middle Eastern food mm -hmm. and things like that, but it just adds this nice little citrusy kind of note to the spice blend. Oh, love it. We're going to mix this together. And then this is going to be our taco seasoning blend. Mm. <laughs> so eh, just get a whiff of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, super, wow. super yummy. Wow. You can make this in large batches and bottle it up yourself Whoa. and just keep it in your pantry or you could just do it per order. So we're going to put that to the side and we're going to bring out our fillets so we can season them up and get them onto the pan. So here are some already prepared tilapia fillets. You can find them in any grocery store anywhere. They're everywhere. So this is what a tilapia looks like. If you guys do not know what the whole fish looks like, most people don't. They don't. Um, this is what it looks like. These are the fillets. So we're gonna take each filet, we're actually gonna lay them out so we can see them. And we're gonna season. You wanna help me with the salt and pepper? Sure, sure. All right, so we're gonna season these up with salt and pepper. And then we're gonna sprinkle our seasoning mix all over both sides. Wow. So you go ahead and sprinkle some salt and pepper over that. We're gonna use, we're gonna use kosher salt. So we're gonna, yes, good Now job. you were telling me about kosher salt versus traditional salt. Yeah, so kosher salt definitely has more of a bite. It doesn't dissolve as fast as, you know, granulated salt mm -hmm. or iodized salt. So we like to use that, especially in any type of cooking, really. Mm. Go wow. ahead, you can put a little bit more pepper. Yeah, Don't I, be shy. I, I, well, I am from San Antonio. You know how we like it in San Antonio. <laughs> there you go, and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing. Keep in mind you are working with raw fish, so it is important to keep your hands clean in between that's why he's sprinkling, I'm flipping, and we keep it sanitary. <laughs> there you go. So go ahead and sprinkle both sides again. I feel like I'm doing something really important. Making the flavor. So now that that's done, we are going to sprinkle our taco seasoning mix. So go ahead and get in there. Uh -huh. I'm going to help you. Okay. I'm going to do half, you do the other half. Okay. So we're literally just going to sprinkle it. Okay over all of them kind of generously we don't have to you know okay don't we're gonna be do, nice huh? yeah we're the gonna get both Mary. sides and we're gonna rub mm. them into the fish also to make sure it oh. really gets all that seasoning on there oh mm. and they smell so good yeah you smell seasoning. that yes that's that coriander uh -huh. you could even do this like the night before or the day before if you want a quick dinner for the next day mm -hmm. you can at least do this step and put it in the fridge okay. uh, we're just gonna grill them right away though wow so we are going to light up this pan. We're gonna do probably like medium, medium high. Mm -hmm. Is that stainless steel? It's actually my favorite pan. It is a M steel Movio pan. And it's different than most stainless steel and it's so sturdy and it just fries fish perfectly every time. Wow. So we have that heating up. We're gonna add some olive oil just to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. You can see it already kind of heating up yes. and starting to melt on the bottom. So you just want to make sure that that olive oil coats the whole bottom of the pan. That's the kind of pan I need, you know, the long handle. Oh yeah, it's I... so great. Oh, and the wow. cool thing about these pans also is that it does have the steel handle. So if you want, you can put the whole thing into the oven as well. Mm. So you don't have to transfer it into another dish. You can actually just put the whole pan into the oven. I learn something new every day. How yeah, because most, I mean, you think about it, most handles of like, cookware is either plastic or you know the cheaper kind of plastic you don't you can't put those in the oven mm -hmm. this one is really great that you can do that 
Okay, so now that the oil starts to pop a little bit, it's pretty much ready. Okay. So we don't have to worry about these breaking or anything because they are for tacos. So we are just going to end up breaking them apart anyways. Uh -huh. So you want to make sure you're getting that nice little sizzle. Oh. You hear that? So these are going to cook pretty quickly, about two minutes on each side. It's going to cook all the way through. Oh. So think about that, two to three minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. You're done with that. We just got to shred it up, add it to our tacos. I love it simple. Boy, yeah. Brie, you know how to make it simple, but make it so delicious. <laughs> so we're just going to let that sit for a couple minutes. So now that our fish is done, it's okay if the fish starts to break up a little bit because we literally are just going to shred it anyways okay. for the tacos. So don't be afraid if it, or don't be sad if it breaks <laughs> on you. We're just going to take it out. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing also about these Moviel pans is the handle doesn't get hot like most pans. Mm. So you can lift it up just like this. And we're going to take all the fish over here and we're going to let it rest while we cook the rest of it. We get all these little pieces because that's just going to add flavor. Just like that. So now that our fish is done, we're just going to simply take two forks and we're going to shred it up. So we're just going to go like this and kind of piece it apart. You can see all the steam coming off, but this will also cool it down a little bit faster. So we're just going to piece it apart. And this is now the meat that will be in our tacos. Ooh, look how flaky that is. Mm. You want to try a piece? Of course, you're going to ask me that. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> So buttery. And then the seasoning. Mm -hmm. mm. It's going to be so good. All right, let's go on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to make a quick little pico de gallo, but we're going to make it a little bit different. We're going to add some jalapeno mm -hmm. and chopped avocado into it. Oh. So it's really, really delicious. We're just going to start. We're going to cut up our tomatoes. All right, so we got our tomato. We're going to stick it right into this bowl. We're going to add in some jalapeno because I it's love a big jumbo jalapeno. Oh my gosh, they're Man. huge! These are like the perfect jalapenos to stuff if you're going to stuff them with uh, something. Okay. So we're just going to cut this small as we can cut it. So we have some jalapeno in there, and now we are going to put some cilantro. Just cut up some fresh cilantro. Mm. I like to rough chop my cilantro. I don't like to cut it too small because I like okay. that nice little bite and earthiness it gives sure. to the cilantro yes. or to the pico. Now we're halfway done. Uh -huh. uh, let's put in the avocado. So we're just going to slice the avocado in half. Okay, so we're going to cut it one more time in half. That way the peel can just easily come off. Just like that. This is a really ripe one, so this is going to be good. Uh -huh. And we're just going to thinly slice this into cubes. Uh -huh. So we slice it first. So we're going to take the fresh avocado. Wow. Now you could just top the taco uh -huh. with guacamole or something, but this is a really good way to just you take put it all together. <laughs> oh, this is going way back to my roots in San Antonio, Texas. I'm thinking about sixth grade where we would have some after school. Look at that. Boy. So good. Mm. So then we're going to add some fresh lime. We're just going to squeeze a whole half of a lime in there. Okay. Give it some nice acidity along with the tomato. And the last thing, I save this for last because I'm a sucker for onions and they make me cry all the time. But a cool little trick is if you actually stick them in the freezer on top of ice, it's supposed to eliminate it a little bit. So we'll see if that works. Don't cry. I know. <laughs> so we are going to take it out of this freezer. We are going to use a sweet onion since we are using jalapeno, making it a little extra spicy. Instead of using the standard red onion, we're going to use a sweet onion. Mm. So we're just going to use a little bit of this. So we're just going to cut off the end. I'm probably going to use about a quarter of the oven onion. Probably not even. <laughs> we're just going to take that. I had a person ask me, what's the difference between the red onion and the white onion? 
So what would you say? A white onion or a yellow onion is definitely more sweet okay. to me. Um, the red onion is a little more spicy, has a little bite to it. So it's good if you're cooking it down and caramelizing it. Um, but something like this, it's just nice when it's raw. I like the yellow onions are a lot better raw, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. my opinion. Okay. So we're just going to cook this up a little bit. And you want about the same amount of onion to tomatoes. Okay. So we're just going to cut this guy up real quick. There it is. Chef at work. That's an art right there. And pour the onions in there. The more the merrier. Yeah. I think I'm going to add the other half of the lime. Okay. Just because. So we're going to add some more lime. Mm. And now we're going to mix this up. We're just kind of folding it. We don't have to over mix it because then you'll mash up all the avocados. Sure. You want to keep them pretty, pretty full. So like that. Okay, we're going to sprinkle some garlic powder just right on top. Mm -hmm. We're going to sprinkle some cracked black pepper. And then just a little bit of the kosher salt. Oh, wow. And that's our seasoning for that. Again, we're just going to fold all of that in. Like, look how colorful and mm, vibrant that is. That looks fantastic. So that is our avocado jalapeno pico de gallo. Wow. And we're just going to set that aside and start assembling our tacos. So another great thing about these Cuda knives is that they're not only for fish. They are so sharp, they work good to even prep veggies. So right now we're going to chop up this cabbage. Instead of using like lettuce for a taco, we're going to use some cabbage. Mm. You can use purple cabbage too if you want, but we're just going to use steak cabbage. So we're just going to cut a little piece like this. And we're just going to do it in strips. Like, look at that. Just oh. so easy. Like and, butter. Yeah, and you can get really thin uh -huh. pieces with this knife. So I tend to use my Cuda knives more than anything else because so <laughs> they work it. for everything. I see why. Yeah. And I always thought I could just use it for fish and I had something special. So oh. y'all are using them too. <laughs> yes. It's my, my chef's secret. Nobody yeah. knows. So we're just going to strip this like this. Yeah. And then we're going to just do it a couple times across. Wow. So it's all strips just like that. Wow. This is another good method for if you're making coleslaw or mm -hmm. something. Just strip it like this. So now this is going to the side because that's what we're going to use to top our tacos. Done with this. Now let's heat up our tortillas. Okay, so we're going to turn on these two burners. And you literally just take probably two at a time. And the reason we do two deep is because it's still gonna heat the one that's on top and we're gonna flip it and then it gets its color. I love that. So see there? Nice. You just want it to get a little bit of color. Is it like 30 seconds? Or was yeah, that like 30 seconds. You just want to watch it and make sure it doesn't catch on fire. Uh -huh. Okay, so now that we have these heated up, let's move these out of the way. And now let's put these tacos together. Excited? I'm real excited. Okay, let's do Can't this. Can't wait. Let me get us a plate. Uh, Who needs a plate? I just eat out of this bowl right here. <laughs> okay, so we have this cute little plate right here. Okay. We're going to first take a shell. We are going to then... Put some of the tilapia taco meat uh -huh. into, uh -huh. just like that. You can never have too much, so we're going to load it just like this. Okay, and then we're going to come this way. We're going to put some of our avocado jalapeno pico right on top. Mm. I mean, look at that. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. And then sprinkle a little bit of this cabbage on top. You know, as I noticed something about your cooking, Brie. Yes. It's not only good, but it's always pretty. How do yeah, you make it pretty? People I mean, eat with their eyes first. You have to make the food wow. look delicious and taste delicious. But you can use this for Christmas decorations too, because look at all this color. <laughs> right it's got the green, it's got the red, you are on the right track. So we're just going to do this really quick. I'm going to let you do the next one. How about that? Uh -oh. So get your shell ready because oh, you're coming okay. over here next. All right. So we're loading it up. Come back over here. Grab our pico. Mm. See the big chunks of, chunks yes. of cilantro? You can see that. We're going to put a little bit of cabbage on top. I like the texture too. The cabbage. And then look at 
Oh, so beautiful. Man, oh man. Okay, your turn. Here you go. Wow. Let's see if you got it, Ronnie. Were you okay. paying attention? I don't know. <laughs> Teacher, I, I'm not good at passing OJT exams. You got it. You're doing fine. So just take a little bit. Just enough to fill up Put the more. cabinet. We'll give it some more. Just a little bit All more. Right. Don't be greedy. People, <laughs> people want the fish. That's right. Okay, so then you're going to do your pico. Okay, come over and get a little pico. All right. Make sure you got plenty of onions. Ooh, yes, that's perfect. Okay. And then a little bit of sprinkle of cabbage. So I'm going to do a hand cabbage. Yeah, you good? can just sprinkle it right on top. We're okay. eating these anyways. That's right. <laughs> just go in your mouth. You're all right. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to fold this side up and put it right next. Okay. All right. There we go. One more lime. Cut it up into wedges. Mm -hmm. Just like this. And serve these tacos with a couple lemon wedges. I mean lime. Serve these tacos with a couple lime wedges. Just like this. And now you have all your tacos. Another beautiful dish. Look how delicious that looks. Wow, Brie. Well, now that we have these beautiful tacos, yeah. we have to eat them. Quality control. We have to try them, right? Uh, I'll try them. No, I'll try them first. Okay. No. <laughs> You're supposed to say, no, I'm going to eat them first. No, no, no. Okay, I we're eating these. Okay, you take that one. Here we go. Ready? Cheers. All right, cheers. Taco cheers. Wow. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good. This pickle is off the hook. Seriously. You get the little hit of the jalapeno yet? I think I'm going <laughs> I to think I got some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Messy, mm -hmm. but delicious. Mm-hmm. You know it's good, but we can't even talk hardly. <laughs> To find more amazing recipes like this one, visit the website at www.efficientstory.com.